<laughs> Again, I'm not ready for this. Uh, okay. Hey, this is Dondi. My name's Ben. And this is Between Two Wheels. So what's been going on since the last episode? Not a whole lot, a little. Uh, we got to learn a lot about trees, about hemlocks specifically. And we did a nice little bike ride, you know, shoot a little bit of video of the Rocky Mountain Pipeline. This past weekend, we had a chance to go to the Hemlock Camp Meeting in LJ. Uh, it's a good meeting with uh, Save Georgia's Hemlocks, Donna Shearer, Shearer founder. And uh, she talks about these magnificent conifers that we see every day out in the Cahutta up Bear Creek, those big giant trees that are now dying at a pretty rapid pace, and a lot of people are not aware of what the problem is and why they're dying like they are. So um, we had a good talk and learned a lot with some speakers and scientists and good information to have. So take a look. So, uh, today we have Donna Scherer and she's the founder of Save George's Hemlocks. Yes. And uh, a lot of people don't realize that the hemlocks are in danger of the Willie Adelji. Um, if you're out riding the trails and you see a lot of dead hemlocks, this is more than likely the cause. And uh, she's out there fighting the good fight. Can you tell us what you're doing? We are. We focus on two kinds of activities. Education, like what we're doing today here at Hemlock Camp Meeting, to raise awareness of the fact that there is a problem, but there are solutions for the problem. And also to enable people to do as much for themselves as possible, and then to engage our volunteers to help other people. And then we do um, service activities activities such as supporting the U.S. Forest Service and the Department of Natural Resources to actually be their boots on the ground to go and treat trees on the public lands because they're pressed for money and manpower and we can provide the chemicals, but we can provide the manpower plus it's So every way we can think of to let people know what's going on and to get them in well, thank you so much for, for doing you, this, Dad, and pleasure. we will have these events. Uh, we're going to link up with these guys and put it on our website, So, because I've been out on some injection uh, parties, and they're fun. You're out there walking around, seeing the deep forest and beautiful trees, and uh, we'll try to get more of you guys involved with it. Thank you. Thank you. Rocky Mountain Pipeline. This bike here one of our top sellers at the store, but for very good reason. If you're looking for a plus bike, 27.5 plus, that can really lend itself to bending and morphing into what you're looking for. If you're on a lot of variety, a lot of different places, and you need a bike that's going to do that, kind of a one bike to do all, this is kind of it. It is like the jack of all trades. It is a really good design. Yeah. And the I put a lot of mileage on one. You've put a lot of mileage on one on this bike. Um, what do you think? I really like how it rides. Okay. So what you're saying is the Ride 9, because of the adjustability of this bike, um, it is, I call it like the Swiss Army bike, because you have nine positions you can put the Ride 9 position in to really tune the bike and make it ride how you want it to ride, where you want it to ride, when you want it to ride. You can take this bike out for big mountain rides, take it into the inner city tight cross country rides, you just adjust the chip to set it into up to nine different positions affecting the head tube angle from 67.2 to a 68.8 and seat tube angle 73.7 .7 to 75.5 and while doing so, also affecting the spring rate of the air shock, giving it a more progressive feel and a more linear feel depending on your weight range. 
and the Ride 9 carries across the whole board of Rocky Mountain. So whether you're getting a Slayer, which I think is a Ride 4, yeah. up to a Thunderbolt, which is their cross-country race bike. Um, or they, if you want to get your kids ripping. The Reaper. Oh, the Reaper. The 26-inch Reaper. Reaper is probably like the best kid's bike you could possibly get. It has Ride 9, and it can really tune the bike to be what you want it to be. Go dirt jumping one day and cross-country racing the next, and you can really just really adjust this bike out. All right. You like your pipeline? Huh? You like your pipeline? I love my pipeline. All right. <laughs> best bike ever. We're going to periodically give you guys a... A peek at what we're listening to in the shop keeps us motivated, keeps us going during the day, um, helps us like keep our sanity as we're yeah. changing tubes and tires and fixing spokes and chains and all kind of good bike stuff. What you been listening to all week? The On one and only people movers. The one and only people movers. That's it. PPL MVR? Yes. S movers? I believe S. Yeah. Look them up. We've well been, worth your time. We've been playing it loud and clear in the shop for a good week or two right now. It's could be longer. <laughs> the next episode is going to be what? Oh, July 4th ride. Yeah, what we did on July 4th, whole thing. That's all we're going to do. It's going to be fun, ride videos, talking, eating, catching a lot of people with food in their mouths probably. It'll be good. Pork be products. Pork products. Hmm. <laughs> That's nice. That was, that, was, that was a good out. Good out.